All right. Welcome back to the Cowboy Seabot Show, everybody. It's your first time here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're in a safe, safe, safe spot. All right, safe place. All right. Uh, remember, this isn't just a knife channel. It's a life channel. <laughs> I love saying that. But anyway, uh, don't forget, subscribe if you haven't already. And, you know, leave a comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want, right? If it's a thumbs down, let me know why. All right, so, one of the hardest questions in my life is always, hey, what's your favorite knife? I don't know. I got so many beautiful blades, I don't know, all right? I just don't have a clue, all right? How about at least your top 10 favorite blades? Okay, we're making it a little bit easier now for me. Um, but even that is a hard task for me. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break them down into categories. This is like category one, which is knives that I just love and I highly recommend to everybody. So I'll think of a good title. Top 10 most recommended knives. Okay. And then... The next video will be like, you know, down the road, my top 10 favorite movie knives. And I'm pretty sure we all know what my favorite's gonna be. And then there's top 10, you know, combat knives. And then we're gonna do like, you know, a top 10 custom, custom made knives. Okay. And I might even do a top 10 of knives that I'll just never ever part with, all right? I don't want to part with any of them. So let's get started, shall we? Top 10 knives right here that I just highly, highly recommend. Number 10, the K-Bar D2 Extreme. This bugger goes everywhere with me. Straight edge. Check out my review on it. Love this blade. Made in the USA. K-Bar, you know, I love their, you know, originals. And to me, this, it, this just only got better, you know? My opinion, of course, ladies and gentlemen. So number 10 is the K-Bar. D2 Extreme Straight Edge. No serrations. All right, number nine. Psh, I'm not gonna keep doing that. The buck, one, two, four. Uh, me and this puppy, we go ways back. All right, this might have been my very first big Bowie knife when it first came out. All right, the buck, one, twenty-four. Just an awesome blade, never let me down, still gorgeous, and I uh, highly recommend. Number eight, another made in the USA, the Case Double X Bowie Knife. I've always been obsessed with this shape, the style, Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Another knife that will not disappoint. All right, the case double X. All right, here's a gem. Number seven. I'm telling you, this was a tough decision, ladies and gentlemen. The Ontario. SP50, made of that 5160 steel. As you can see, this one has not been used because I sold my original like a dozen years ago and I got it back. This is an awesome, awesome blade. Probably like the best <laughs> blade Ontario ever made. This thing is just sheer awesome. 
the SP50, and I do love that Krayton handle. Yes, I do. All right. Next, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. This is kind of rare, but I still think if you keep your eye out for it, you can find one. Comes in one of those frog style leather sheaths. All right. A little jammed in there, wouldn't you say? All right. Anyway, that does come down. It slides down. The Browning Barker Crow competition knife. Another heavy duty, sharp, beautiful blade that you can just virtually take anywhere. All right. This was uh, my very first, you know, competition type blade. All right. And uh, you got to read the history on this, how they put it together. And it won, you know, a competition or two. But uh, anyway, the Browning Barker Kroll. And this was made in Taiwan, all right? If my memory serves me. The Browning Barker Kroll. Is this not gorgeous? We're going to do a once over at the end, ladies and gentlemen. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, number five. Love this knife. I wasn't a big fan of the sheath. This is made in Italy. The Fox FX140XL. I am just over the moon with this. All right, this is just one wicked knife and I'd never part with all right and this is made of I believe nylox steel all right the Fox 180 I did a video on this somewhere a couple years ago all right yeah nylox steel yes all right the next one's sleep there okay the Fox FX 180 I'm sorry, 140 XL. If you guys can find one, this will last you, last you 20 lifetimes, all right? It just feels so good. It's not real heavy, and it's just, it's just badass, all right? Speaking of made in Italy knives, something about this one, all right? With that Kydex sheath, this is by Lion Steel. The M7 Combat Knife. I fell in love with this immediately. I always love how they made this, this handle kind of like wrapped up against the tang and exposing the spine portion. Okay? Lion Steel. The M7 Combat Knife. Just gorgeous. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Here's one. Uh, oh, that's number four. Number three, this is the smallest of the bunch, but one of my absolute favorites. I upgraded it with a, a better Kydex sheath. The Falk, Falk Nevin. This gets the most use, by the way. The A1 Falk, Falk Nevin. I'll never be able to say that, right? All right, this one gets the most use. Uh, truly truly badass I'm a sucker for that type of handle that textured rubber handle this a do all a do all knife reminds me a lot of the uh, the cold steel SRK uh, but this one just outdoes the SRK just a little bit All right, I wasn't sure which one to put here I mean it really the SRK really is one of my favorite knives so many but I'm gonna go with the A1 by Faulknavin. Okay, getting down to it. Number two. Sitting down. <laughs> the Boker Arbolito. Amazing leather sheath. I'm out there. Little dangler action there. I love this sheath. Love it. Love it. Love it. The El Gigante with that genuine stag handle. 
Isn't this gorgeous? I mean, wicked, razor sharp, uh, made in Buenos Aires, Argentina. They went overboard with this, man. This is just something that I'll never, ever, 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 ever part with. Wicked sharp, solid, solid. Like built like a tank, full tang. Check out my video on it. I think I did videos on all these. If I didn't, let me know and I'll make one. All right? So there you go. That's number two. The Boker R. Abelito El Gigante. Okay, now, my number one uh, most highly recommended knife is actually a tie. One being the Bark River Shining Mountain Bowie Knife. Another knife that's just built like a tank. Incredible leather sheath. That doesn't get any better than that, ladies and gentlemen. This design is what blows me away. I'm just a huge, huge fan. Probably my favorite knife design of all time. Stacked leather handle. The reason why I'm tied at the number one is because this could very well be in my custom knife category. So I still might include it in that because I designed this knife when Bark River asked me, how would you like your shiny mountain? Do you want the dual guard? Do you want the half guard? What kind of handle do you want? So it's kind of custom, right? <laughs> we'll never part with this. And this was uh, you know, the basis for the Aldo Rain Inglorious Bastards. Oh yeah, check out all my videos on that, all right? And my other number one, come on. Come on. You know what I really want to say, but that's for another category. My favorite, I'm sorry everybody, the Cold Steel Trailmaster in the San Mai. I mean, the San Mai, San Mai, can't even say it. And it's like my favorite. Holy Miss Molly. It just doesn't get better than this. And there we go again with that. That textured handle, all right? Look at that, what is that? Eight millimeter thick spine, and it doesn't even like feel like it. This thing will pry through a tank, all right? Tank versus tank. I love it, we'll never part with. Well, again, I wouldn't part with any of these, all right? I did it one time, and hopefully I never have to go through that again, all right? Cold Steel Trailmaster in San May. Okay, let's do a once over. Again, I'm going to do more categories. Might not be the next video, but stay tuned in the future. Um, I'm gonna do movies, my top 10 movie knives, my top 10 combat, and top 10 customs, and maybe the top 10 that I just can't ever part with. <laughs> we'll see. So let's do a once over and I want you guys to get about your day. All right. I wasn't so, so bad, was it? K bar D2 Extreme, the Buck 124. Yeah, there we go. The case, double X buoy do this. You can see the other side. <laughs> Isn't that not beautiful? Lordy, lordy. The Ontario SP50. Beast, beast, beast. The Brownie Barker Crow. The Fox FX140. Lion Steel M7 Combat. You see how that handle just kind of wraps around? 
you know, the scale just wraps up. It's like a one-piece scale. It's so neat. So neat. Gorgeous. And to me, this, you know, Falknavin is like a miniature Trailmaster. truly is. And look at this. The Boker Arbolito El Gigante. <laughs> Shining Mountain. Come on. Move out of the way, Mr. Sheep. Look at that spine. Stacked leather. Black. Yes. And the Trailmaster. All right. Thanks so much for being here, everybody. Stay tuned for some future videos featuring top tens. And I'll let you all get about your day. All right, screenshot that. Can you get it all? We in? We in focus? All right, stay safe as always, everybody. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.